all right i'm just gonna keep going with the qmc front end and um you know, like I said before, there's a lot more to this program than than, uh, than, than just playing games, basically. It does actually does a lot. Um, before I get into that, um, I just want to mention about the uh, about Intel, I guess. When I mean Intel, I don't mean uh, the G the CPU. I'm talking about the GPU, the graphic chipset. And uh, every time I use MAME on uh, on Intel GPUs, for whatever reason, it, it, it's a little bit laggy. And the sound sounds laggy, but it's not really the sound. It's actually a graphical issue. And I'll, I'll go over how to fix that in a bit, but I just want to go, let me launch uh, QMC. <clears throat> All right. So now I got this launched. And there's a lot of cool little features about this program that I really like. And let's say uh, if you wanted to, let's say you had a little old machine that you just want to dedicate it for like playing little games and stuff. Uh, this actually would be a very good program for that because it, you can actually... Uh, uh, add multiple emulators like SNES or, or Sega stuff like that it even has a little uh, built-in uh, like a jukebox like a mp3 player so when you launch it it'll play some music if you wanted to you know what I mean so you can just like start your machine and have this to auto start and just have some controllers plugged in and and there you go you know a little mini uh, game system so so that's one thing I really like about this program you can even kind of customize it too you can uh, drag stuff around you know, the better suit your needs, like this. And uh, you can even add little themes to it as well. But, um, you know, some, I don't know, some of the themes are cool. But yeah, I, I have to actually go on the internet and find them out for you. But if I can find a link to it, I'll, I'll put it in, in a, in a I can find, if I can find the website that has it, I'll put it in the, in the description down below. But anyways, um, all right, the configuration of this, right, if you go here to configuration, right, um, what this is, it's going to configure to the, to the game that's selected. So here's like my games. Right now I have Street Fighter 3 selected. So this will configure to that game, right? So if you want like global configuration for all your games, click on the, the wrench right here. Go to emulator, global configuration, and this will configure to all the games, right? So for OpenGL, I usually have this unchecked, the filter. And uh, back in the day, you know, in the arcades or even computer monitors, televisions, they had a, it's called CRT, right? And uh, the resolution's really low. And all these games play under a lower resolution. So when you actually play the game, they look very pixelated on a modern LCD screen because modern LCD screens are high resolution, like 1440 by 900 or whatever. And a lot of these games are, are you know, way below that. So when you have this filter checked, it helps reduce the pixelation of it make it a little, look a little bit smoother but I actually prefer not having that I don't know why but I just don't that's really up to you it's your decision what to do with that but for me I actually notice you know it actually runs a little bit better to me you know it's, I guess it's less of a uh, less CPU intensive trying to you know t trying to fix the problem I guess if you want to call it a problem but anyways let me uh, cancel that anyways uh, you can also uh, search for games you know just type in like uh, like X like Min, I guess, or X maybe X dash. There we go. X X Men, Children of the Atom, Street Fighter, uh, the uh, the main the what's it called the the huge. Uh, oh, this machine was back in the day. This was a twin monitor, like it was a big giant machine that was four players. You know, it was about six feet wide. Um, it had one monitor inside. They had another monitor on the right. I think it was reflecting off a mirror to get this big giant panorama shot it was a really cool machine you know it was awesome but uh but now you can play it at home so pretty cool and if you want to add this to your favorites right click on it add to favorites go right here and it should be in there and this also uh you know it tracks of uh tracks you know what games you played so you can just you know quickly go back to it but anyways <coughs> excuse me well anyways like i was saying before about the intel issue uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. All right. For this, you got to open up Nautilus as root. Um, I didn't see it in the global configuration, but if it's in there, you know, um, if you find it, you know, great. But if you can't find it, uh, this is how you do it. So GKSU space Nautilus, hit enter. Give your password. Hopefully open this time because last time I didn't. There it goes. Go to file system. Go to... Uh, ETC, you're going to find a folder called MAME, 
There it is, MAME. MAME.INI. And this is basically your configuration, the global configuration we were talking about earlier. Your file directories and everything. So let me find it for you. Right here where it says core vector or whatever options. This right here, this this I guess anti-alias or what do you call it? Just set that to zero. Okay? And set that to zero and save it. And you you should be all good. That should help reduce a lot of the uh, the lagginess. All right. So, anyways, uh, oh, another thing about about the games. Um, let me launch it again. A lot of these games probably won't work. That's mainly because you need a BIOS, like a uh, Neo Geo, the Cap Systems, uh, Namco. Uh, I believe AM2 probably needs it too. Uh, this, uh, Konami might need one. So, some of those older game systems, game game uh, uh, machines, require that BIOS in order to run the game. So I can't tell you where to get it, but it's out there. They're easy to find. You know, just just uh, pretty much when you find them, drag it into your ROM directory, and you should be able to run the game, no problem. And another thing about some of the ROMs, if you find them, they may not work for your version of Mame, mainly because every time when a new Mame uh, releases, some of the older ROMs are hacked to run on Mame. So your older hacked ROMs probably won't work on the newer Mame, if you know what I mean. So you're gonna have to go out there again hunt down new ROMs and and try it again so it's a little bit of a hassle but once you get your your games up and going and, and main working properly and if it, if it works for you then just keep it you know just leave it alone <laughs> anyways thanks thanks for watching and uh, I guess uh, have fun see you later